Hello, welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Today we're going to do another board game unboxing. Um, today we're going to be doing the um, Conquest of Planet Earth um, expansion, Apocalypse. Um, we just did the uh, Conquest of Planet Earth, the space uh, alien game, the base game. So this is the um, expansion to it, the big box expansion, the only one that's currently um, Flying Frog has put out so far. Again, Flying Frog Productions. Uh, game by Jason C. Hill, and again by the producers of Shadows of Brimstone and Fortune and Glory and other games which I've already had on the channel. And again, this is upside down. And again, this is part of a uh, set we got off of eBay. It's uh, not in shrink, but it's new. It hasn't been played, so it's basically new out of shrink uh, without the insert. For some reason, they threw away the insert. Don't know why, but they did. Um, but again, it's unpunched. Uh, cards are sealed. And, um, yeah, so it's basically brand new. You get a good price for it. Um, you know, maybe slight wear and tear in the corners of the boxes, but no big deal because that's going to happen to me anyway. So, uh, again, one to six players, uh, ages 12 and up, 30 to 90 minutes. So this adds extra stuff, of course, because it's expansion. To, uh, it adds some more races. It adds, uh, like, naval resistance, um, you know, coastline water um, type uh seaports and stuff like that so all right let's read it and let you know what see who it's in the box so as the war over um rages over the earth more alien alien factions join the conflict unleashing powerful new technologies and deadly new tactics enlisting the services of several fiendish alien warlords the armada calls the ultimate galactic destroyer the apocalypse cube Sweeping across the planet, waves of alien saucers fight to control land, air, sea, and the human resistance has more tricks, has one more trick up their sleeve, bringing to bear the full force of the battle-hardened navy to defend the coastlines and waterways of the world. Powerful battleships and destroyers clash with the alien invaders. Even the massive warships, new atomic power plants, and developing technologies through though the humans may find their final moments are at hand, the apocalypse. And thus, it's called the Apocalypse Expansion. So this contains an exciting new expansion for Conquest of Planet Earth Space Sailing Game. It includes game boards, miniatures, counters, and rules that allow more people to play the game, increasing the maximum player counts to six. Apocalypse uh, also features four new alien races, including the alluring... Sinelian Sirens, Colo Industrial Unification, the Dual Race, the Kazakh Zalos Federation, and the Dome Helmeted Martian Confederacy. Four powerful new aliens, alien allies join the battle, including the Queen's um, Adora's Floating Palace. So these are the, the uh, miniatures. Taskmaster Koi's War Beast, the Crux Heavy Tank, and the Massive Apocalypse Cube. All of the game decks of the Conquest of Planet Earth are expanded in Apocalypse, plus all new Coastal Resistance deck brings the U.S. Navy to the defense of, of Earth. And veteran players will love the challenge and fast pace of the new uh, brutal game setup. All right, so the... All right. So again, it gives you a little thing about one of the races here and just the different stuff inside. Okay. Let's see what's inside the box. All right, so first we'll go through the different, the four new races that are in here. So we have the Martian Confederacy, which again, you have a strength of three and intelligence of four. Four is intelligence, how many cards you'll draw. The strength is basically how powerful they are when you're com doing combat. Uh, it has two abilities, pack tactics and scouts. All right, so that's them. And then you have the Sinelian Sirens which have three strength and three intelligence, irresistible musk, sea dwellers, and siren's call. So again, this help, this goes with the uh, theme of the waterways and stuff. So that's kind of neat. And then you have your Kazakh Zelos Federation, uh, two only two strength and two ability, and two intelligence. Uh, abilities, a dominant species. So you have your two different species, which um, I guess depending upon which one you use, not sure exactly how that works, but 
Anyway, it shows right on the card there. You can read it. Uh, power shift. And then finally you have your a quattro, a quattro, which have two strength and three intelligence. And they have abilities, industrial unification and treads of progress. There you go. So four new alien races. All right, let's show you the, uh, this is like the cube. There's some new miniatures in here, which are pretty cool looking. So it's a cube, which is very powerful. Matrix cube or something like that. And then we'll go over the names of them later, but this is like, must be the palace one. Kind of neat. Kind of looks like Disneyland a little bit, Disney World. And then here's the tank. This is nice and chunky. Pretty cool. I like it. And then one of the other creatures here. It looks like he's some kind of a... Got guns on top of him and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Okay. Some nice and chunky things there. And then you have your new... Uh, player colors. So I think the base game was one to one to four. Yeah, so it adds two more players you can play. So two more colors. You have your purple ships, which are cool. If I play with those, I like the purple colors. And, and then you have your uh, an orange. Again, two of my favorite colors that I like to play in games are orange, purple, and black, pretty much. But, cool. So again, these are just the spaceships, the beams going down. Pretty cool. And then you have, looks like more tokens. So, just resistance tokens, which you'll place on different areas. So you have, looks like you have marines, Seal, uh, fighter planes, seals, fighter bombers, fighter planes, heavy tanks, fighter bombers, and conquest tokens in there. Different player colors, more alien menace tokens, the S there. And then these are kind of new to the game. So when you fight, a, uh, you get to draw a card and you put these on them, these destroyers and stuff. Not only do you have to defeat the front side here, but after you defeat them, like say the destroyers here are five, uh, then you have to defeat the back side of it too. And so they're extra tough, so you have to defeat them twice in order to um, to get the terror points and stuff for the uh, to count as being defeated. And then you have battleships, um, aircraft carriers, which I think probably have planes going over them too, I imagine. Um, so yeah, so these can be extra tough, which I've seen in the playthroughs. They seem to be extra tough, but pretty cool though. And then you have more stuff here. Uh, Oops, I think I knocked my iPad a little bit. Um, so these are, let's straighten that out a little bit. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what these are, but oh yeah, they add strength to your, to the aliens, I think. Or it could be the players, I don't know, I'm not sure. And then these are terror points you put on certain areas. Uh, maybe extra terror points. And then... And Zelos, Dominance. So this is one of the alien factions gets this little plus two thing. And then the Kazakh. So depending upon which one you play as, you gotta, I guess, use this token to differentiate that. And more tokens, countdown tokens, and various, various things there. And two new, three new player boards. These don't seem to be as... Yeah, I guess they are. Yeah, these are a little warped too, but they'll straighten out, I'm sure. Once you put stuff on top of them. Not the big deal. This one actually seems pretty flat. So there you go. Some more play boards there. And then pretty much this is going to be the uh, rule book, which is just a supplement to it. So just basically probably what's different in the, the game. Uh, new counters. Alien terror factories. I guess that's new. Uh, you can create factories which add terror points. And then large alien menace tokens. Uh, oh yeah, so that wasn't an S, it was a 5. And then you have your Queen Adora's Floating Palace. Yeah, Taskmaster Cole's War Beast. That was the, one of the guns on top. 
then the Crux Heavy Tank, and the Massive Apocalypse Cube. New cards. How to use them. Coastal Resistance deck. So depending upon whether or not you do a land or a sea area, you're going to draw from the Coastal deck or the basic enemy deck from the base game. How to use the large navy counters and stuff. I set it for a five and six player game. Generation can be pretty fun. Um, location of the duration, Captain Fantastic. So I think his he probably changes a little bit. And then the four new alien races. Different facts in here. Probably dealing with the races and then some how to use the brutal setup, which is obviously brutal. And then the cards. And that's pretty much all that's in the expansion. So, so basically more of everything and uh, a coastal deck um, with some new types of uh, human enemies. And of course, you're going to have some locations. Um, yeah. Yeah. So you have your coastline, which basically is just one resistance. And you can tell by the little anchors here whether or not it's... You're going to use the coastal deck or not. So it's going to have water in them. Port cities, which are pretty tough. Three, three, uh, basically get three um, terror points for this. But you got to fight through three resistances. And they have uh, different, which you're familiar with, fortune and glory. They have different icons on here, which do different things, I think, which mean certain things. And it says, for each fight here, roll a d6 on a roll of one, two, or three. Use a... Um, Use, an, use the coastal deck. So Port City could be used either the regular deck or the coastal deck. So that's kind of neat. Atomic Power Plant. So this looks like it's just a regular. Uh, doesn't use the coastal deck. And Fishing Village, which I think could use either one. And then Oil Rig, of course, would use the naval thing. And Navy base, of course, we use the naval thing. And U.S. Army base uses the land thing. The tank factory. Oops, sorry, I don't know why it's so dark in here. I think one of the lights I had burned out, maybe. Or is it? Uh, lighthouse. So that's going to have a coastal deck. Atomic research lab. And then oh, that's part of another deck. So, yep, so those are some more locations. Um, I think there's more... These space stuff cards, a few more of those. Let's see how many we got here. Yeah, looks like there's a handful of new space stuff cards. So splinter rats, a couple of those. Anti-air cannons, a couple of those. Apocalypse cube, like we mentioned before. And these are the quadro fire thrower. Energy shields. Crux Tedeschio Warlords. A Queen Adora. Taskmaster Call. Yeah, there you go. So a few more of those. Um, then you have some a bunch of new event cards. Let's see here. What's in? So more event cards. I think Clash of the Wills. So yeah, I'll just show you these, a couple of those, paving the way. Sonic Blast. So they just basically feature the new enemies. I mean, the new uh, alien races in here. Terror points plus one. Limit one victory card per fight. So it makes it a little easier to get the terror points, I guess. Anti-war protest. So this basically decrease your strength. These are not so good ones. And again, the trapezoid box here for special events that occur. I think these I think these occur during the uh, during the human phase. You can they're used in that. You draw them. But I could be wrong. Dogfish, dog fights, breakthrough. Yeah, so there's different cards in here. Distraction. Again, very campy artwork. Something with the apocalypse cube again. But yeah. Okay, and then you have your resistance, more stuff for the resistance deck. 
So a few more cards with that. Okay, so some more, more resistance cards. And again, there's a little thing icon in the corner here if you want to take them out again. It shows it's from the Apocalypse expansion, a little A there. So you have Riot Police, SWAT teams, U.S. Army heavy tanks. Oh, these are eight. So you have some that are, yeah, these are eight. This is a pretty tough. Captain Fantastic again. Daring Doctor. Movie star. Kind of looks a little bit like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Plus two. And then Hot Shot Pilots. There you go. So a few more of those to add to the deck. And then I think this is an optional... Uh, new starting city card is Capital City, and on the back it's got a tech research facility. So this one's not as tough. Two and one, and five and three. And then some human tech cards, some more of those. A couple of them. it's actually just a few of those. So basically, four new human tech cards force field defenses, weather control device. Teleportation and long-range rockets. And then these are your oh yeah. close to the resistance deck right here, which have all the military stuff here. Strength of four U.S. Marines. A few of those. Navy destroyers. Hard target, of course. Soft target Navy SEALs. Navy fighter planes. Yeah, some of these are br brutal. Uh, Navy bombers, fighter bombers, marine biologist, fishing boat, <laughs> Navy battleship. Yeah, there you go. Navy aircraft carriers, submarines, and again another. I guess fan Captain Fantastic in this deck, Sea Captain. Radio Man, Fighter Ace. So these add to the uh, to the regular stuff here. Plus zero. Commander Williams, Expert Divers. There you go. Yeah. So just basically more of everything. And again, a new coastal deck, some new races, um, and that's pretty much it. New tokens, and basically how to use them in the instructions. So that is the Apocalypse Expansion, the expansion for um, Conquest of Planet Earth. And, the, you know, some new characters too. Kind of new, cool-looking characters you can use. Well, nice minis. Um, so, yeah. So that's the expansion for uh, Conquest of Planet Earth. So thank you for joining us. It's Eric from Higher Ground Gaming. And we'll see you in the next and final exp um, video on Conquest of Planet Earth, which will be the three... Um, supplements card pack supplements which are basically three different races and cards um you can get off of the flying frog uh, from the flying frog web store so that's it take care god bless i'll see you in the next video bye bye now